calibration of a knapsack sprayer. To ensure crop protection, products are applied at recommended dose rates per hectare. Accurate calibration and correct use of the spraying equipment is essential. This short movie will demonstrate how a simple knapsack sprayer can be calibrated before being used in the field. Before beginning work, a number of items will be needed. A measuring tape with a length of 20 to 50 meters. Some small sticks or canes to use as distance markers a large or several measuring jugs, one for each nozzle if there is a spray boom instead of a single jet, a notebook and pencil, a stopwatch or other means of accurate timing, a small stiff brush for cleaning nozzles, a calculator, a selection of handy tools. The calibration of hand-operated sprayers is usually operator-specific, because different individuals will, for example, walk at slightly different speeds. The first task is to check over the sprayer. Make sure it is clean and in good working order with no leaks. Check also the straps. One of the highest risks of significant operator contamination when using a hand-operated knapsack sprayer is from damage or leaky equipment. So it is important to check and also very useful to carry with you at all times suitable spare seals and washers as well as a suitable spare nozzle. If your sprayer starts to leak during operation, stop immediately. Don't continue until it's repaired. For the purpose of this demonstration, we shall work with a simple lance fitted with a single nozzle. The first task is to put on your protective clothing. Although we shall be working with only water at this stage, it is better to be cautious as the sprayer may be contaminated from a previous job. Selection of the correct nozzle and spray volumes. Initially, you should consult the label of the product to be used and find out its recommended dose, volume and recommended spray quality. This will enable you to determine the correct nozzle to be used. Based on the information of the product label, the existing nozzle should be examined to ensure that it is of the correct type and size. Even if it is already the correct one, the nozzle and filters should be removed and cleaned with water and a soft brush. Nozzle type and size selection is important for water volume rates, droplet size and distribution. For example, using too much water may lead to product waste through runoff. Too little water may mean that all target surfaces are not covered properly. If a nozzle is chosen that delivers too fine a spray, small droplets, unwanted drift may occur. The distribution pattern delivered by different nozzle types varies considerably. In this example, it can be clearly observed that the pattern achieved using a hollow cone nozzle is rather poor, compared to that from a flat fan nozzle. In fact, for knapsack application, hollow cone nozzles are normally only used for tree spraying. After replacing, make sure that the nozzle being used is correctly aligned to spray across the line of the lance when it is held in the normal way. Now you are ready to begin to calibrate the knapsack sprayer, a job that should be done only with clean water, not product. Under these circumstances, you must wear all the appropriate protective clothing indicated on the label and take care to collect any waste spray liquid and reuse it for the infill operation. Pressure setting. First, if the knapsack has a single pressure relief valve, this should be set to an appropriate pressure, typically low. Or if there is a pressure control valve, then this should be set appropriately, typically about two bars. The next task is to part fill the sprayer with clean water. Once this is done, the sprayer should be switched on and again checked for any leaks. The output should be carefully observed in order to check that the nozzle is not producing a distorted pattern that might indicate that it is worn or partially blocked. If the nozzle is worn or damaged, it should be replaced. Measuring the speed of travel. To measure the sprayer output in litres per hectare, first we need to know our speed of travel. First we need to measure and mark a suitable distance of exactly 20 metres. 
assess walking speed. Put the knapsack on your back and start pumping. Walk the measured distance of 30 meters at a steady pace, spraying with the nozzle at an appropriate height for the intended crop, usually around knee height for low row crops, and pumping continuously as close as possible to what you would need to do in a typical operation in the field. Record the time in seconds needed for the 20 meters and calculate your walking speed. Speed, kilometers an hour, equals 3.6 times distance in meters, 20, over time in seconds, 40, equals 1.8 kilometers an hour. Next, we must calibrate the flow rate. Measure the output of the nozzle in liters per minute. Generate some pressure using the pump handle. When the knapsack is up to pressure, release the trigger and hold the nozzle right into the measuring cylinder. Time for exactly one minute whilst pumping continuously, as close as possible to a typical operation in the field. The measured output is the flow rate expressed as litres per minute. 0.8 litres per minute. Next, on a dry area of ground, the width of the spray should be measured with the nozzle held at a good working height, typically a constant 0.5 meters above the crop. Try to walk at the previously determined speed. Measure the wet footprint width of the spray in centimeters before it dries. Spray volume calculation. Having measured the walking speed and the nozzle output, we now have the basis for our calculation of spray volume in liters per hectare. Calculate the spray volume in liters per hectare. Spray volume liters per hectare equals single nozzle output liters a minute times 60,000 over application speed kilometers per hour in swathe width centimeters equals 177 liters per hectare. For a handheld application, it is generally accepted that a resulting spray volume within plus or minus 15% of the target will be sufficient. A slight under or overdose can be compensated for by consciously walking a little faster to lower the rate or more slowly to increase the rate. Knapsack equipment can also be used to spray small trees. In this case, a hollow cone nozzle is normally used. In our example, we used a T-Jet Conejet TX6. Calibration is similar, but in this instance will be based on application to a single tree. Measure the output of the nozzle in litres per minute. When the knapsack is up to pressure, release the trigger and hold the nozzle right into the measuring cylinder and time for one minute whilst pumping continuously as close as possible to a typical operation in the field. 280 litres a minute. Measure the time needed to cover one tree. Spray one tree until shortly before the point of runoff and measure the time in seconds. Calculate the water volume per hectare using the following formula. First, we calculate the amount of water to be applied on a single tree. Litres per tree equals single nozzle output, litres a minute, 0.28, times the time in seconds needed to cover one tree, 109 over 60. Next, we calculate the planting density of the trees. Trees per hectare equals 10,000 over inter-row distance in meters times by distance between trees within the row in meters, both measured trunk to trunk. Therefore, the calculated spray volume in liters per hectare is as indicated. Spray volume, litres per hectare, equals litres per tree times number of trees per hectare. Now you are ready to prepare the spray mix. Before you do anything, read the label. The result of this calibration should be recorded on paper. The sprayer record book is a good way of doing this. Now you are ready to start the spray operation itself. Before handling any crop protection product, don't forget to take the correct precautions especially ensuring that you wear all the appropriate personal protective equipment.